This is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com and we're talking about narcissist abuse and what's really going on in your life. And, it, and it's the reason why no matter what therapy you did, it wouldn't Here's work. Here's what I mean. Um, I had to make this video. Okay, hold on. All right, something just came up. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming because when you pop out and you, and you go, you know, you wake up and you go supernova, you're going to see everything in your life that got screwed up because of this whole narcissistic abuse thing. So let's start with, um, all right, so I used to have unbelievable anxiety um, until I popped open. And I used to, like, things like uh, filling out college paperwork, you think, well, that's not that big of a deal, like, you know, for classes or for financial aid or getting a student loan. Um, test anxiety. Here's the thing. Have you, okay, this is what I went through. I went to every therapist I could since I was about 19, 20 years. I, st I started going to the Tony Robbins seminars. I bought, I've got three to 400 books, and then I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of home study programs that will take you months to go through. We're talking like these are like audio of two and a half hours each, and you got like 42 audio in this one package, and then 32 in that package, and you know more in the, the big package, and on and on and on. I studied everything. I went to life coaches. I went to personal development coaches. I went to energy healers. I went to hypnotherapists. I flew down to Southern California. Excuse me. Here's another one. Do you have a sleeping disorder? It's not a sleeping disorder. It's a narcissistic abuse disorder. Okay? Now, just follow me on this. I did everything. I started going to Tony Robbins seminars. I bought his home study programs, plural. Even this business and sales. Um, I'm trying to think what else. His, uh, I, I, okay, so I, I flew to Southern California to see this highly touted hypnotherapist, right? Because I had a major sleeping disorder. It didn't work. I can't tell you how many hypnotherapists I went to here in the Bay Area alone, NLP trainers. And, and, and the whole thing is why I went to NLP originally was I didn't want to be a personal development coach, even though in my college, you know, in the beginning of this one class, you take this test, like what were good careers for your personality and your values or whatever. It was like life coach. Hypnotherapist, new age psychologist, new age therapy. That's what I do now. I love it. I'm good. I just happen to be good at it. And I didn't find that out until I went to these five week long NLP trainings, hypnosis, and you know, all this stuff. So I didn't go originally to become this. I went originally to, I had this impending doom, this constant. Here's what it is Do you have the um, feeling of, I'm going to get in trouble if I do this wrong? Uh, someone's mad at me. I, I'm gonna get in trouble, right? Or the or every time you get happy, okay. This is a big one with narcissistic abuse uh, survivors. I used to have it where I'd suddenly be happy, happy, and having a good, and I suddenly had like panic attacks. Oh shit! Oh shit! And I'd even tell my my energy healer in in past therapist like, I have this thing where everything's going good and I'm happy and I'm fine, and, and then. I'm literally just like, feel, I feel free, like you're free, right? And then just impending doom. And no one has to do nothing. Here's why. Because you were abused by narcissists. Now, here, watch this. If it was just your mom or your dad or, or sibling, one person that abused you for 18 years, even 25 years, and you finally left them, even 30 years, that'd be fine. That, that really wouldn't be a big deal. But you go and fill out the paperwork. Uh, I can think of one instance in college and uh, the girl that was on the other side of the table, it's like they, they can they can see you when you're a sensitive person, when you're an empath, when you're an open-hearted person. She was mean to me. And then I went to one doctor that was mean to me and I was, whoa. And then it was another one. Then it was another this. Then it was a dentist. Then it was, it would be one thing if it was just that, but then, it's, then it, it was a cashier. And then it's a this person. And then it's that person. And here's the thing. These are, look. When you when you when you pop open, you're gonna see the difference between someone's just having a bad day or they're just a jerk versus a narcissist. Narcissists are professionals at stabbing you so good and so smoothly, so sneakily that it just it fucking hurts. It stings like like a giant wasp thing, and it just injects pain in you. All right, you can see the difference now. And so here's the deal. Here's my point about therapy. 
Are you one of those people who went to therapy for sleeping problems, who went to therapy for losing weight or hypnosis or an NLP trainer or whatever, an expert, right? It could be an energy healer or a life coach, right? And you were just, it's almost like you had to fight to to stay on the diet, right? Or to go to the gym or to stay focused on, on your goals and, and take the steps. And it was like this battle, like something was constantly against you. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is. It's called narcissist abuse. These people don't want to see you succeed. So your mother, the neighbor, the stranger across the street, the person at the gym that found out that you're this great person, you're happy, and, and all of a sudden you're benching a certain amount of weight. Now they're jealous. Now they're just going to fucking fuck with you. And they'll get other narcissists to, to gang up on you. They'll turn people against you. And you're going, what the fuck's going on here? Like, well, I don't understand. I don't even know these people. You begin to learn like, oh, achieving success, not good. My ex-girlfriend hated that. My mom hated that. Oh, my God. You know, I'm going to give you a little bit into my life. Just a little. Whenever I'd won a boxing match, it wasn't just that. It was report card time was a terrifying experience for me. Even when I got straight A's, and I mean all A's in every class. The next morning, my mom would wake me up, show me my report card, and start beating me. And I mean fucking vicious. I remember I used to come home from boxing matches, win a trophy, right? I'd win my match. No celebration. Oh, my God, no hugs, nothing. Next morning, I get woke up about 6 in the morning. My mom was showing me my trophy, and she just beat the fuck out of me, right? They don't like your success at all, at all. And it wasn't just her. It was a girlfriend. It was a, this person. It was a that person. I've even had coaches that would sabotage me. They're jealous. They're everywhere, people. Okay. So here's the thing, though. When you can see them, fear goes away. And they look at you like, oh, shit, this person's not afraid of me. And they can see me as I guess I can. Now I get to reveal you to the whole gym. I get to reveal you to everyone in the room. All right? That's a narcissist's worst nightmare. So that's another video, another subject. So here's my point. Have you gone to therapy? Because this is what I did. I, I couldn't figure out why I was afraid. And, and it, it was literally like, and I used to say, like, I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if I, if I don't do this paperwork right or if I do do it right. It didn't matter. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if I get a good grade. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if, because you might think, oh, well, it's because of your mom. No, I've had, I've had narcissists as friends, as coworkers who would just, this is what it is. If you know anything about narcissists, they'll make shit up to yell at you, to yell at you. And they've got these rage issues and they get mad out of nowhere. Whoa. It's like, no matter what you do, they're mad at you. And even if they fucking do something wrong, they'll blame you and they'll, they'll get mad at you. And you're walking on eggshells all the time. It's like, it's like, and here's the thing, like you don't. Until you pop, like right now, I, I see it. So it's almost hard to even make this video because it's like, oh, I see it now. But when you can't see it, it's fucking scary. So my whole life until I popped open, there was just this constant like tightness in my chest and in solar plexus. There was like, like, like even just walking out the front door, just going to my car, just going to school, just going. It didn't matter where I was going. The grocery store, bookstores, a friend's. To have dinner with family, friends that grew up with in Napa, it doesn't matter. So here's the deal. What I found out was a lot of therapists, life coaches, energy healers, people you hire, they don't know anything about narcissist abuse, so they can't help you, okay? So it's just like this picture. It's like that one missing piece. Sure, I healed a lot of issues. I healed a lot of things. I fixed a lot of phobias. I learned tremendous communication skills, but I had that one problem, and this is the final piece. You just like every time you conversation with someone's like, "Am I going to get in trouble? Is this person going to get mad at me?" Because that's what happened. It happens all the fucking time. Because there's a nar nar there's a narcissist almost in every group. Not every group, because some people like they won't deal with them, but a lot of people don't know what the fuck they are. They can't see them, so they're there, and they see you, the empath or the open-hearted person, and they fuck with you, and they're smart about it. And they hurt you. So here's the deal. Let me wrap this video up. I went to Tony Robbins seminars. I traveled to Hawaii, the East Coast, Southern California, going to all these NLP trainings, trying to fix me, trying to find out. Because they would tell you, like, hey, if you come to these trainings, we use the techniques on you so you get to heal some of your stuff. It's like, oh, that's going to be great. And on top of it, I'm going to figure out what's wrong with me, right? And so it's called narcissist abuse. And so nothing worked. But here was the, the weirdly weird kind of almost mind fuck. I got over, I got phobia cures done. I used to have a, a candy fetish, hard sugar candy. 
of all kinds. I couldn't stop eating candy. And I did this one technique. It was a, a belief change. And it worked. And, but I didn't notice until months later. And my, and my sister goes, she tried to offer me candy. I'm like, no, nothing good. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, why? She goes, you always eat candy. You haven't eaten candy in like months. I went, oh, I did that technique. And it worked. Oh, my God. You know, and to this day, 20 Eight years later, still haven't eaten. I don't eat hard candy. I don't like, I don't like, I used to crave it and have it everywhere, right? It's gone. And there's all kinds of other things. I got over a phobia. I got over the, uh, all kinds of things. So I was making changes and I was developing my communication skills. I was interacting better. Everything was working. But there was this impending doom. And it's kind of like, it's almost like having this car where you put a brand new pumped up engine in. Better transmission, brand new transmission, brand new clutch, brand new this, brand new that, and you're just fixing up, fixing up, but you're you're in the car going room, room, and you're not going nowhere. And the reason why you're not going nowhere, no matter what kind of therapy or how much therapy you've done, is because nobody knew what the real issue was. A lot of therapists, as I told you in my lifetime, they may have thrown the word out there, but no one taught me how to see it or what it was or broke it down. It's because if they personally haven't been abused on that extreme level, they, number one, don't really know what they're dealing with, and they don't know how to help you. It's like you fix up this car, but you never put the wheels on it, so you don't go anywhere. You're, you still have that fucking fear, and like getting out of the front door is terrifying, and, and, and it's like you do your yo-yo diets. Narcissistic abuse causes yo-yo diets. It causes fear of success. It causes... Like, you ever start making money, and then you go down, right? You ever get on a diet and doing really well, really well, and then all of a sudden you sabotage yourself? It's because there's this, you know, it's like you're, it's like, it's like fighting. Okay, when I finally saw everything, everything I went to therapy for, the, the core thing that I went to therapy for, to energy healing, to hypnotherapist, all the Tony Robbins trainings and seminars and personal one-on-one -on -one coachings and all the stuff that I did for fucking decades, is this one thing that I finally got when I saw the narcissist. Gone. Gone. All that stuff I did, yeah, it was nice that I stopped eating candy. I'm sure some of you have gone to hypnotherapists, NLP people to help you stop smoking. Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. But, but, but if the fear is still there, it doesn't matter. You know what? I think I'm trying to explain something to you that is hard to explain to someone who hasn't experienced it. Let me put it this way. If you've gone to therapy and hypnosis and all this stuff for test anxiety and you still have it, or filling out paperwork, that was a big one of mine. Oh my God, just terrified of it because I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to do it wrong. Oh my God, oh my God. Because I had a lot of horrendous shit happening, but it's not even that. It's just that constant walking in eggshells and the stabbing and that sting and the sting. And it's like you just don't want to fuck. You get to the point where you don't want to do anything. You don't even want to go outside. You're afraid. It's not, you don't have test anxiety, you have narcissist abuse. You don't have a yo-yo weight uh, diet problem. You've got narcissist abuse and you don't know it because you can't see it. When you fucking see the people that are hurting you and the people that are sabotaging you and you start losing weight, you start looking good and they get jealous and they come sneak up behind, I'm your best friend. And that's what they do. And they're, they're the masters of acting like that. And they're not. They're being sneaky. They're like CIA agents and they're there to fucking hurt you. And they're there to fucking sabotage you and destroy your dreams, your goals, your weight loss, making money, being a professional athlete, and they'll do it. I promise you. They'll fucking do it. And I already know that those of you watching this video, you've gone through it. Keep following this video series. I promise you, I'm going to show you more and more of how to see the narcissist, to see their colors, to see their behavior, to see their strategies and their techniques. You see those things, you're going to pop. Hey, this is Mike Colleen at MikeColleen.com. If you need support, if you need to hire a life coach, a professionally trained, highly trained life coach, NLP trainer, personal development coach, master hypnotherapist, and energy healer, get a hold of me. Go to my website. Find my information. M-I-K-E-K-O-L-L-I-N.com. And remember, click subscribe, click that bell, and click the all button. See you guys soon.